Imagine making $13,000 from your personal brand in your first two months. So guys, I have a really, really cool interview. This is actually with one of my friends, Ollie Chapman. Now he's also based in London and he started his personal brand around two and a half months ago. And since then he has made $13,000. And the best part is he has a tiny following around 400 YouTube subscribers and 1,400 Instagram followers. So guys, we just recorded a sick interview, talked about pretty much everything you need to know about personal branding and why starting your personal brand will be the best decision you ever made. All right guys, let's hop into the interview right now. So guys, we're here with Ollie Chapman now. So um, yeah, basically thought I have a, just have, just have a couple questions for you. So can you basically just give my audience like a bit of context as to your personal brand, how you got started, how long ago you got started, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, sure. So I started my personal brand about two, two months ago, two and a half months ago. And so I started really through Instagram. Instagram was one of the first things I, I started and just kind of promoting other people's products and things through posts. and really just like in the, in the bio of my Instagram because um, one of the first things I learned really about personal brand was that like affiliate marketing is like one of the best ways to get started and promoting other people's knowledge, you know, uh, things that have helped you out. And because then you can then earn some kind of commission for, for promoting that. And um, so that's that's kind of what I started. So the first thing I did was um, got some of my favorite books and things because I knew like on Amazon, if you if you promote like audible trials, you, you can get uh, you can get like uh, commissions for it. So I picked oh, Audible, up, Audible is like, was it $5 for every free trial yeah. sign up? And then it's like, five pounds. it's like five pounds. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, yeah. so five pounds every free trial sign up and then yeah. 10 pounds if they sign up after that. Yeah. Yeah. If they sign up after that. Yeah. So, so that's the first thing I did because I thought this, this is really profitable and I had just a stack of books and, and stuff like that I'd bought and everything. And so I just thought, okay, like I'm going to start posting pictures. Uh, maybe do some Instagram stories or Instagram lives talking about the books and everything and then promoting them through that. So that's kind of how I started uh, through Instagram. And then people were kind of starting to ask me, uh, like, you should do YouTube videos. Why don't you do YouTube videos and things like that? And it was because I didn't think like I knew kind of knew enough. Do you know what I mean? Like I wasn't like 100 percent an expert on this stuff. So that's why that's why I didn't at the beginning. But thinking back now, like I, I should have just like jumped into it straight away when I started my Instagram because Instagram's a bit different than YouTube. You're not really 100% putting yourself out there. It's mainly just photos and, and even stories that what like 20 seconds, 30 seconds long. Like you're not really putting yourself out there that much. But I kind of just took the dive, went into YouTube and like I'm really, really glad that I actually did um, because this is when like the personal brand stuff really kicked off. And um, because especially with affiliate marketing, it kind of takes it to the next level because when you've got videos out, they're running around the clock 24 seven, people are always watching it. You're always getting new people in. And the good thing about YouTube is you can put as many affiliate links in the descriptions as you want. Whereas Instagram, you've only really got your bio. So you can put one, you can put one link in there. So it kind of limits you down to just to one product or one service at a time. But with YouTube, like I said, the descriptions are so big, you could, you could put as many, as many as you want. So that's when I started adding in different services, different tools, different website things I used. I could have multiple books and things like that, that, that I was referring. So that's when the, the affiliate commission started to grow uh, and everything like that. And then from there, people started asking me, you know, do you, do you have any of your own products? Do you have any of your own services and things like that? And at the time, like I didn't, I didn't really think like, Am I in the position? Like, like am I someone of, of that great of value mm -hmm. to, to be able to? I like, had like twenty subscribers, like thirty subscribers. <laughs> would anyone? Why would anyone want to buy something off me? Right? Like, I'm not like anyone big. I'm not Ty Lopez. I'm not Joe Soto. Whatever. So from there, I just thought, you know what? Like, all I can do is try. All I can do is take action. Like, if, if I do it, then like that's how I'm going to find the answer out. Right? So I made. Um, like an initial product, right? And the goal of this product was really just to test the waters mm -hmm. and see whether people would actually buy from me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't so, so in in that that's what's known as an IFO, initial yeah, front end yeah. offer. So yeah. I mean, it's, you, I talk about this all the time. It's so clever that you did that because like yeah. people are like either go like a hundred or zero, right? They're either like, yeah. you know, I'm going to spend three years working on a course, yeah. right? get lighting, get cameraman and stuff like that. Yeah, and then yeah. no one buys it. So what you yeah. did was like 
Test the Water is cheap. I think your your ebooks are like seventeen pounds thereabouts. Yeah, yeah. Well, when they first when they first launched, they were like ten, I think, or something. <laughs> yeah, like ten fifteen. They, they were pretty cheap. Um. So and because I I didn't have that big a following on YouTube when I launched my ebooks, like maybe 30, 40, 50 subscribers, not a lot. Mm -hmm. My Instagram was at about a thousand because I, I grew that quite quickly to beginning, but I, I kind of like tailed off uh, with that once I started YouTube. But I thought, okay, I'm going to bring out these ebooks, like you said, as an IFO just to see if people will buy. And I didn't think like anyone would buy because I, why would they? Like I'm I'm not a big 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 like so, person. So, so to give give people context, what is it that you do? Uh, I do social media marketing, so like um, basically like si signing clients and running their Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and things like that. So that's what I kind of base my personal personal brand ar around. And so people were asking me, "Oh, can, can you help me out?" So I released an ebook just to see uh, if people would buy, and like I sold quite a lot. I, mean, I think I made like a hundred pound in the first like night of them selling. So like there were ten pounds, so I sold ten. So from and that was what really hit me about how powerful this personal brand stuff can really be. And it's because of how much a follower or a subscriber is worth to you or even a viewer. They don't even have to have an account and subscribe with you. They could just be a viewer that, that even just comes across your videos. Like they're gonna, they're gonna buy from you if, if they trust you, if they like you and things like that. And, and I think videos are the easiest way to convert, you know, like cold traffic into like warm leads and then eventually into like, like true fans and things like that because it's so it's so personal and, and everything and also it's free to upload a video like you don't need to be spending hundreds of pounds on ads and testing all these different things like eventually yes once you've scaled up and you've made the money you can go down that route which is obviously the best way to go but at the beginning all you need is basically your phone with a camera and an internet connection mm -hmm. and you, you can just you can just record videos and stuff so that's when i realized how powerful this stuff really was was people were actually like um, buying these ebooks from me. So then eventually I started to release more ebooks. I then had about, I think I had three in total. So then what I did was I bundled them together and made like a three ebook package and then put that higher up. And then eventually people started buying that as well. So it was kind of like a mini sort of value ladder kind of already there. Mm -hmm. People could either buy the one ebook uh, for however much it was, or they could buy the bundle and stuff. Um, so obviously more people started buying the bundle and things. So I was making even more money per day by then. Um, and now I've put them up even higher because I've created a full scale digital product, um, which is which is my course, uh, which is the next kind of thing. I, the next step I took uh, with my personal brand was to create this digital product. And that's what made me the majority of my money. OK, um, yeah, and, can we, and can we touch on that? So right now, currently, you have how many YouTube subscribers? Uh, like 435 or 36 or something at Four, the time of this video. 435. And then Instagram, how much do you have on there? Uh, like 1.4, 1.5K. Right. So, so, so in two months, you've grown it to that level. And I think like, uh, obviously, guys, me and, uh, me and Ollie are actually like friends in real life. We both, yeah. we both live in London. So like, admittedly between us, like that's quite a small amount, like in two months. Like you haven't yeah. built the biggest following. No, no. Right? No. But yeah. in the last 60 days, how much money have you made from your personal brand? Uh, it's been around like, so like 6,000, I think, from courses. Oh, in the last, then, in, in the last uh, 60 days, so like in the last two months. Oh, in the last 60 days, oh, yeah. like over 10,000 pounds. So, yeah. so guys, in the last 60 days, in, in his first two, two, two and a half months of personal branding, he's made 10,000 pounds. So that equates to yeah. roughly $13,000. So, Thirteen so, thousand, thir like he has five hundred YouTube subscribers, and he has one point five k on Instagram. There are YouTubers who have half a million who aren't making as much as he is, right? Yeah. Because once again, he's he's thinking like a business, right? You're, he's yeah. thinking like a business. He's not relying <clears throat> on paid promotions, AdSense. He's taking it into his own hands. He's the funny. The funny thing is, is I, I can't even apply for AdSense because I haven't had got enough YouTube views. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to have ten thousand YouTube views with <laughs> ads. So I can't. I don't even make any money off AdSense. I make zero dollars a month from AdSense. It's all from actually thinking like a business owner, putting out products, putting out services, mm. doing things like that, coaching calls, etc. So, so you started off basically just by building trust with your personal brand. You put out a bunch of free value. Like Instagram yeah. DMs were huge for you. Just like. You know, anyone had yeah. you had the smallest question from what you've told me, like 
you would just go in detail and provide shit tons of value. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then, you know, they're like, awesome. So what is it that you use? Right. And so you, you, you told me that like, you kind of went from building trust to your first source of income was like the affiliate side of things because you yeah. still weren't sure whether you knew enough about your industry. Yeah. 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 It's because at the beginning, yeah, like I felt like, like obviously I was doing well with, with my agency and things like that, but I didn't, because it was like, because I'd learned for it from other people and things like that, I didn't know whether like I was in the position to then, to then be, t to be teaching uh, other people and things, but it was because of the answers and the in-depth answers I was giving people in DMs. They were like, like, yo, you need to start making, making YouTube videos and stuff because you're getting so much value. I'm getting so much value out of these messages. And that was something that because I'd kind of had like learn some sales stuff online i realized that selling is all about value and things like that you have to give out so much more value first for free before you can ever like expect expect anything in return but if you do that then on the back end you're going to profit from it so much like i have and, and like you have and stuff with, with your with your personal brand and things and mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of one thing that yeah i really focused on at the beginning was just helping people as much as i could and, and also like even now, it's not just the monetary benefits that, that I get. Like people signing clients, people like changing their lives, quitting their jobs. Like that is probably one of the best achievements like I've had in so, my. So, in my so, so do you want to tell them? Basically, um, you uh, Ollie launched a course ten days ago, right? So ten days ago, with one thousand five hundred uh, Instagram followers and four hundred YouTube subscribers, you you like you didn't promote to your. Do you promote to your mailing list? Uh, yeah, I did, but it's very, it's not, it's not very big. Okay. It's just the people that had bought my, uh, ebooks and okay, things. Okay. So yeah. basically like he just promoted to social media, he, you know, he's not doing anything fancy. Um, he, like he's not running webinars or even running any sort of adverts, stuff like that. No. So in your first 10 days since the course has launched, how much, how much, uh, how much have you made? So revenue wise was $6,000 or just over $6,000. <laughs> so $6,000 yeah. in 10 days from a course. And you know, so look. Mon like monetary wise like money wise like you're fucking crushing it right yeah, with yeah. a tiny following so and it, for any of you mm -hmm. guys that think you, ta you need to have a huge following that's not the case right yeah no. but but you know what let's, let's even put the money aside away do you want to tell them because we you know we were discussing right before we started recording do you want to tell them about your one of one of your coaching students yeah yeah so one or, of my or one of the course course students i mean yeah yeah so one of the course students came on um, I think he only had the course for maybe like four, four or five days. I'm, I'm not really sure how much it was, but he, he like first jumped like, cause I go through how to prospect and get clients. And he told me from his first prospecting sitting, he landed his first meeting within like five minutes or, or something like that, which was just insane for me because it wasn't, it wasn't from the fact that, Oh, awesome. He, he's, he's signed a client. Now I can promote, or he's got a meeting now I can promote my course. It was more the fact that I, this guy's life has now changed forever because of like the confidence and like all his beliefs would have just been completely abolished mm -hmm. because uh, of like the confidence he would have gained from doing this. And then a few days later when he had the meeting, he actually signed the client in his first ever meeting. So mm -hmm. basically a four or five day span, he went from not having any meetings or any clients to actually landing his first client and earning his first like monthly, monthly retainer. Mm -hmm. And that feeling was just far greater than like the monetary value value you can get. Mm -hmm. And I think this is why I kind of prefer my personal brand stuff over my kind of agency work. Like I like my agency work. Agency work is really, really good for like um, earning full-time incomes and things like that when, it, when you first want to start off. But like the reward, what like uh, coming from like the, the reward as, as in like a personal kind of side is like I get that so much more from helping out students and things like that because when you run ads for businesses yeah you, you make them more money and, and things like that but they've already got money and stuff mm. so it, it's so much better helping someone out who doesn't have it because I know what it's like only like three four five months ago I was in the same position as basically everyone that I'm teaching now mm. and to see them kind of get out of their nine to fives and kind of learn how to make a full-time income is just be probably one of the best feelings I've ever had. And it would never have come around if I didn't start my personal brand. Mm -hmm. Like I think a lot now, like I really, really wish I started it earlier, mm -hmm. but it's because I had these beliefs of, oh, you need like 500K followers to even make any kind of money. Mm -hmm. like it's because I didn't even really know about selling your own products. I thought it was all about AdSense, mm -hmm. like, which, which is a lot, which most people think. You see these big YouTubes and they think, oh, they make so, many, so much money on views. 
that's the only way you can make money. But I had no idea about affiliate marketing. I didn't really know how to eat. Like it's so easy to do. Mm-hmm. I didn't really know that. Even creating your own products and and promoting them and even building an audience. It, it doesn't matter how big it is. It just it just matters about how how much they actually like you, how much value they get from you. Because if you had a hundred thousand. Uh, subs but they didn't really care about you they kind of just tuned in just to just to get a laugh out of you really it's like a comedy channel or whatever but if you actually provide some kind of substance some kind of value something that they can take from and actually improve their life you could literally have 10 subscribers right if you have 10 true fans you brought out a digital product for say a hundred dollars and all of them bought it you've made a thousand dollars in one day mm-hmm. off those 10 true fans which is i think a lot of people don't understand how powerful that is when it comes to having channels based around giving value and something where they can actually change their life. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, yeah, guys, we have covered a lot here. Um, hopefully that breaks some of your limiting beliefs about, number one, having to be an expert when you go into personal mm-hmm. branding. You don't have to be an expert. You just have to share your journey. People start building yeah. trust with you and you can make money off of other people's expertise. And then, you know, eventually one day you can step into that expert role. And once you step into that expert role, once again, Mm. you don't need a huge following. Like $13,000 in two (laughs) months, like just over two months. Like that's, that's ridiculous money, guys. So, um, and as you said, like, you know, you came out with your course and your student fucking crushed it, right? So, so it works. You're providing value and people are going crazy for it. So guys, I am. Uh, I'm gonna leave Ollie's, uh, all of Ollie's information. If I, just, if I just add one, one more yeah. thing before we go. Something you just mentioned there is is so when you said documenting your journey, mm-hmm. uh, I really that's something I really really wish I did. Like I wish I start I filmed when I had nothing, right? When I didn't even have an agency, because this is something I noticed that you've done, and mm-hmm. um, is through your Instagram, people can see when when you right at the beginning of your journey. That's something I didn't have. So I kind of wish I would have picked up the camera and started vlogging from day one Mm -hmm. because then because of the personal brand is all about building that value and everything. I think coming from day one from nothing and then showing everyone the journey, I think that just builds the value even more Mm -hmm. and then you'll you'll become a lot more relatable Mm -hmm. and you can even gain even more true fans that way. So Mm -hmm. So basically basically what you're saying there is just get started. Get get started as soon as possible. like. If you, I think it's better if you don't have a business or anything like that mm-hmm. because you can actually document the journey. Mm-hmm. So, so you're not too un, like unrealistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, if if you if someone just turns on the screen and, and you're there sat in your Ferrari already, it's a bit you kind of it's you, unrelatable. It's too far away. It's too far away. Whereas mm-hmm. if you're just there, you your phone. Okay, this is me. I'm gonna go out and do this, and then people can actually see you achieve something mm-hmm. but i think that's a lot more powerful than than you just sat there in your ferrari like and your first video <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right um so guys as i said i'm gonna leave all of ollie's uh links in the description uh if you want to see more of us together right now obviously you guys know i'm on a business trip in amsterdam but we both live in london so um yeah if you want to see him feature a lot more maybe talk about social media and whatnot um then let me know we'll feature him again influencer ignited is two days away and I mean, look, here's living proof that it works, provide a shit ton of value, make passive income, help change lives. So <laughs> enough has been said there. Thank yeah. you so much for, uh, thank you so much for actually jumping on here and, uh, yeah, and sharing your experience. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that interview. As I said, his links will be down in the description. Influencer Ignited is exactly two days away now. My phone keeps blowing up with people asking me to like reserve spots for them, begging to keep the pre-launch open for them, et cetera, et cetera. So it's definitely gonna be interesting on Sunday to see how everything pans out. The launch is gonna be at six o'clock GMT, which is basically London time. So six o'clock, make sure you're at your computer. I am now upping it to 25 spots for the pre-launch group. Obviously you guys get all the discounts, all the bonuses. So look, once it's gone, it's gone. I don't know how quick the spots are gonna fill up. So so I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I have a really, really good video for you guys tomorrow once again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out all these stuff. I'll see you then.